How's it going, Thieves fans? What a weekend for LA Thieves, am I right? A 3-0 victory against the London Royal Ravens on Friday, and then they paired that up with a 3-1 victory against the Seattle Surge on Saturday. So let's dive into how the Thieves went about doing that this weekend. To start off, we're gonna go with the first matchup this weekend, which was the London Royal Ravens. And on map one, it was a Mercado Hardpoint where the Thieves ultimately took it 250 to 101. Uh, realistically, Thieves looked really good on this map. They really didn't let London do too much. They really performed well because they had a lot of solid breaks that you know, really just made it really hard for the Ravens to stay in the hill. Another thing that really helped them out with this hard point was the sub duo was absolutely frying. And we'll get into it a little more, but Envoy this weekend was absolutely phenomenal. That really led the pace for the Thieves. Octane never really got anything going that match, but he had two plus minutes on the hill. So really with Kenny and Envoy just absolutely slaying out around the hill, it allowed for Octane to not have to get as many kills. And he was able to just sit still and pick up the time for the Thieves. Kenny ended the map at 28 and 16, and Envoy ended it at 26 and 16. In London, nobody on their team went positive. It was really a rough map for them slaying wise to get going and obviously 250 to 101 that's you know that's a big gap but you know still a very big win um and obviously on mercado that's kind of thieves thing they're they're pretty solid on the mercado on the mercado hard points so you know it was a, it was a good first match for la thieves to kind of get the ball rolling and you know get moving but now let's get into map two that was an embassy search and destroy where the thieves ultimately ended up winning 6-0 so it was really a dominant performance out of the thieves and draza man that guy could not lose a gunfight literally like he literally did not lose a gunfight he ended up going 11-0 he had multiple clutches he had a 1v1 first round where he got three kills and then he also had a 1v2 clutch Kenny really struggled. Kenny ended 0-6, but Octane was actually having a pretty well, having a pretty good map himself. And London really just, they couldn't do anything. Like Thieves really put on a ton of pressure that prevented them from really doing anything to kind of get any sort of momentum. So the Thieves really dominated in that second map, which is really good. Obviously, again, it's against the Royal Ravens. So we kind of had a feeling that this matchup was gonna be Thieves dominant, but to go 6-0 in a hard point, or sorry, in a search, is a pretty pretty big deal for the Thieves, considering they haven't really done crazy well in their searches all year. So that was a good thing to witness uh, out of this first matchup. So now we're gonna talk about map three, the third and final map. It was a, a silo control, and the Thieves took that one 3-0 as well. So like I said before, this matchup was dominated by Thieves. Like just to put it bluntly, like the Thieves, it seemed like they could do no wrong. But anyway, on this map three, to start it off, the Thieves were kind of a little slow. They, they didn't start off great, but they ended up pulling a comeback in the first round to take their offense. Going into the second round, the Thieves actually didn't allow a single tick for the Ravens. They continued that domination going into the third round, just ultimately, like I said, swept them. And both Ken and Draza played really well. Uh, Kenny went 18 and eight, and Draza went 14 and nine, and nobody was positive on London in that map. Again, just a another dominant performance. Uh, really, there's not much else to talk about when it comes to this matchup. Uh, I know I've said it a lot, but it really was just pure domination out of the Thieves for this entire first matchup. Kenny ultimately ended the series having a 1.59 overall KD, a 1.75 hardpoint KD, and a 2.25 control KD. Now, we're not going to talk about the search and destroy KD because he didn't have one. He literally didn't have one. He didn't get a kill. The fact that he still was able to finish with an overall 1.59 is pretty crazy. And the last stat I kind of want to bring up is that nobody on London for the entire series had above a 0.8 KD in this matchup. So that kind of says a lot about how this entire series played out. It, it's nice to see the Thieves win, but that didn't really give us a whole a whole lot of what's to come for the thieves so let's dive into the matchup against the seattle surge this series ultimately was a three to one map map count um map one was a hydro hardpoint 
and the thieves won that one 250 to 186 it was definitely a lot closer than the ravens matchup was but it was still a really good really good hard point showing for the thieves and that was something that i had mentioned in the previous video talking about my predictions for what was to come with these matchups and really i was a little concerned about the hard point matchups with the thieves and surge because surge have been so dominant on their respawn and more specifically their hard point that you know i didn't know how things would go in this hard point matchup but luckily envoy played out of his mind in this first hard point envoy had a really hot start which was really good for the thieves and he ended up being 34 and 15 with 30 non-traded kills 30 of his 34 kills were non-traded this guy was moving he was absolutely cooking he could not be stopped the thieves really were break heavy again um they they just were hopping into every hill basically at will um th that's kind of how it seemed they were just able to do whatever they really wanted and again against a team like surge who is really good at hard point that shows a lot more than what it does against the ravens so that was that was really inspiring you know for upcoming matches in my opinion and they really didn't let pred get anything going in this first map um both pred and mac weren't really too much of a factor uh i believe pred started to step it up a little bit later in the map but mac kind of stayed consistent in not really performing too well so it was a big deal to win that first map and to see envoy playing as well as he was map two was a embassy search where the thieves actually took that one as well um again another concerning thing for me being the fact that thieves have not been playing too well on search they took that one six five it was a really close match and pred actually started off ten and one he was just shooting laser beams to start the match and the thieves started off really slow thieves were down 4-1 and were able to bring it to a 5-4 where the surge then won the next round bringing it to a round 11. thieves were able to clutch up in the round 11 thankfully and envoy was 10 and 6 and octane was 8 and 7 those were the top two performers for the thieves luckily kenny did not get another donut on this map and then pred was 15 and 6. Uh, i i kind of feel bad for him uh realistically with how they were looking i i did not think that the thieves were going to be able to, to pull out the the search win but you know it was really pred just kind of doing a lot of the the dirty work for seattle now the map three was in a silo control and surge actually were able to take this map they took it three two to start off surge was able to take b control really early that kind of made it a little difficult for the thieves because now they started off on the back foot and again the thieves had a little bit of a slow start in in this control as well um, the surge were able to take their offense first round accuracy was 10 and 2 after the first round um he turned into a, a different beast in this control um he, he it just felt like he couldn't miss um watching it the whole time you know it, the fact that you go 10 and 2 after the first round of control is is crazy and he had an 0 and 7 start again he he was off to a slow you know slow map surge ended up winning the round two as well so then going into the third round the thieves were down 0 and 2 but they ended up winning that round only allowing surge to get one tick in total that was a big hold for them obviously it was much needed after that they went into round four where it was a really close matchup and draza got this clutch two piece at the very end to seal that round for them and take it to a round five thieves ended up getting three cruise missiles during this round five somehow the thieves were not able to win the round they still ended up losing uh, Kenny came back though from being 0-7 to I believe being even by the end of the map if anything he was like maybe one kill negative he started popping off towards the end of the end of the map accuracy ended up having 4k damage out of that that map like I said he just he started off hot and really didn't slow down for that entire map now map four was embassy hardpoint uh, this is where the thieves were able to close out the series they ended up winning 250 to 159 after the first set of rotations thieves were up 152 to 62 the thieves were able to chain damn near every point surge just couldn't get the ball rolling envoy had another great map he was 
36 and 27. Octane performed extremely well as well. He was 26 and 23. And to start off the map, Octane and Draza were the ones who were kind of pushing the tempo. They started off really hot. That was kind of what got everything moving for the Thieves. And then obviously Envoy kind of brought the the pace back a little bit again it, it was all about the breaks for thieves you know they somehow they're able to just break these setups from every team and you know hopefully the thieves will be able to hold a little hold a little better too um because i know previous stats were saying that the thieves holds were some of the worst in the league but because of how good their breaks are if they can figure out their holds they're going to be a dominant hardpoint team like it's it's going to be really difficult to beat them in hardpoint and i think it already is but i think if if they're able to hold points as well as break you know it, it they're going to be a scary sight to see on any hardpoint map it seems like to finish finish out the series overall envoy again was absolutely dominant like i said he had a dominant weekend but this series he had a dominant series and the hard points really were what pushed the thieves to win this to win this matchup they just they couldn't be stopped like i said realistically if it weren't for that control showing and even more specifically the round five the thieves could have three owed surge honestly again like i said three three streaks that they had to use and they used all three and they still weren't able to close out the round you know things could have been played out a little differently and maybe they would have won either way a three one is still still a big deal and uh despite Kenny having some slow starts to some of these maps. He ended up playing really well overall. So I can't complain about anything that Kenny has done this weekend. Thieves played great as a team. And if that means him kind of being a little bit more in the back seat, then so be it. But if the team is winning, the team is winning. So I'm really not too worried about what Kenny was doing overall. And to finish this series, Envoy, his KD overall was a 1.46. His hardpoint KD was a 1.67. His search KD was a 1.67 as well. And then his control KD was a 1.1. Envoy just being a nuisance to the other team, man, seriously. The Thieves are now up to the fourth seed, which is technically tied with Optic, who is at the three seed, um, I believe for 140 points. From the time of this recording, that is currently where we sit in the standings. You know, to, to end this off, the entire weekend was a great weekend for, for Thieves. I'm really excited for these future Thieves matches. Uh, I know they play Optic next weekend on Sunday. I don't know who their other match might be, but either way, I think the Thieves have a lot of promise and they're looking really aggressive, like they have been saying that they're trying to improve on. And if Envoy can keep doing what he's doing, I mean, he he's a scary SMG right now. So we'll just have to see. And I think Optic will be a good tell on how good this team really is uh, going into the rest of this, this major. That's all I have for updates on this weekend, but I will be coming out with another video soon talking about who the Thieves play this coming weekend, some more predictions on how I think that's going to turn out. And I will do kind of the same setup as what I did for the last week with the video preparing for these matches. Be on the lookout for that. I'll try to have that up on Wednesday so that way there's a little bit of time before the matches actually start um, on Friday. With that being said, if you guys enjoyed today's video, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so that way you get notified every time I post a new video. And go ahead and check out the Thieves Talk Twitter. I will be posting updates about the Thieves matchups and I will be posting updates during matches as well. Also go ahead and check out my personal Twitter. That's Zeke's Tweets, Z-E-K-E-Z -E -E and then Tweets. I'll also have the link in the description down below as well. And that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you guys all enjoyed and I will see you all in the next one. See you guys. Oh.